something important. The girl I brought here, she's displaying psychic qualities you would not believe. Forget it. We are not here to play infantile games. I'm Ed Curtis. Julia Stone. What are you looking at? Charming. Metal at your peril. Julia! Ed! Oh! Ed! You can't shut me down. From this moment on, the Delta Project is finished. For my research! Dead as a dodo. You have no job, no income. What are you going to do? I don't know, OK? I don't know. Shift it, will you? There. Oh, a visitor! A human being to experiment with. Right up there with Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. We're talking of bunny. The rabbits in the lab. Some kind of experiment. Ed's still in there. Whoa, oh, oh, steady. Yes. Come on. She's in trouble. We don't have time. What is it? I don't know. Something's bad. Something's very bad in here. What happened to Ed? Julia. I ran to the door. I thought he'd follow me, but he just stood there. Oh. What's up, that? Oh, Ed. Oh. What happened to you, little twit? Nothing. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, so how'd you escape then? Piece of pudding. Oh, oh, right. Back in there, you were shaking in your boots. Who was? You was. Was not. Was so. Excuse me. I'm only the mug who's responsible for your welfare. Any chance of letting me know what's going on around here? We had to. We just she had to come in. There were all these weird kind of experiments. I want an explanation, explanation, not a headache. I must have been knocked out or something. When I woke up, there was nobody about. Well, looks like you were lucky. No bumps, no bruises, no broken bones. Mm, the boy must be made of rubber. So, what does anything hurt? One of my teeth is really aching. Yeah, so I think we can put that down to the jumbo-sized bag of jelly beans and the two choc ices you managed to stuff down your neck at the cinema. I did not. It's not true. Hey, Munro, when he fell, he must have dislocated his sense of humour. Oh. It sure does look a bit swollen. What am I going to tell your parents? Please don't tell my mum and dad. They'll make me come home. They won't understand. I don't understand. Whatever were you doing there? We told you 50 times already. We had to. There's something evil going on in that place. That place is private property and you had no right to be there. You're lucky the owner didn't call the police. I can't believe you're talking like this. There's some maniac doing sadistic experiments on defenceless rabbits and you're giving us a hard time. Thank you. Now, Ed, I'd like to take you along to the hospital tomorrow to get you checked out properly. I'm OK. I'm fine. Honest. Let's see if the experts agree with you. If they say you're OK, then I guess there's no point in worrying your folks. And our friendly neighbourhood Frankenstein? It's been a long day. I vote we turn in now. I'm sure things will all look a lot brighter once we've had a good night's sleep. <laughs> I still think this is a waste of time. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's let the doctor decide that, shall we? I scream. You scream. We all scream. I scream. Wait, 
the road's clear. Oh. Oh. I, I don't know. I just... What happened? This is down to last night. Post-traumatic shock syndrome. I've seen it before. We were almost killed. If it hadn't been for Julia. We almost had ourselves a new flatmate. <sighs> flatmate? Flat? <sighs> Forget it. Come on. Where are we going? The hospital. Ring any bells? Oh, what? I escaped the lorry, and now I'm going to die of embarrassment. A near-perfect trial run. Just crank up the pain modulator and order up that coffin. According to the doctors, you're disgustingly fit. So if there's nothing wrong with him, let's split. Something has to explain what happened out there in the street. A knock on the head? I don't know. Anything. What's that? Looks like a filling in one of your molars. I don't have any fillings. Oh, yeah? Who believes it? I don't. I've never had a filling in my life. Look. Oh, yeah. You haven't got her. <laughs> Nurse! Oh, straight oh, jacket! Pack it in, you two. It's her. She won't believe that I've never had any fillings. I should know. Some of us take care of our teeth. Ed, are you positive about this? Positive, I'm positive. My dentist says my teeth are perfect. He only checked them a few weeks ago. Let me see. Well, there's definitely something attached to this tooth. There you go, young man. A small souvenir. Nurse? Excuse me. I'll be right back. Well, what is it then? And where did it come from? This is just too weird. I need to take a closer look at this. Come on. Hang about! Where are we going? Oh, no. I see it, but I just don't believe it. What? Oh, here, have a look for yourself. What is that? Well, wacky as it sounds, it appears to be some kind of electronic device. A minute radio receiver, I think. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Who would want to plant a bug inside a kid's mouth? Some crazed, deranged tooth fairy? I don't know. I told you, didn't I? It's that place. There's something spooky going on there. That's where we'll find the answer to all this. You were right. You were right all along. We need to get inside and discover what's going on. Ed? Mm. Grab your jacket. What? We're going to pay a visit to the mad scientist. No way. You'll be OK. Just remember to keep your mouth shut this time. We need to take a quick look through there. Hang on a minute. We can't go charging in like King Kong in a cake shop. We don't know what we're walking into here. We have to move cautiously. Be alert at all times. Stay on our toes. Follow me. I don't believe this. We walked straight into it like lambs to the slaughter. Monroe, do something! Over the top or what? Help! Somebody help us! Don't just stand there like an idiot. Shout, will you? Help! Shh, shh, Somebody help! help! Somebody's got a sense of humour. A very sick sense of humour. Digital timer, plastic explosives. Our little cuddly bunnykins, my friends. Is a bomb. Oh, yeah. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. run yeah. Oh, stop! It's no good. We're wasting our time. It's not as if we've got a great deal left to waste. Help! Somebody help! Solid iron bars. There's no way anyone's going to be able to bend these. Anybody help! 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 You remember the other night? Really? When we had the pizzas? So? And you bent the spoon. The spoons, forks, iron bars, what's the difference? But there's less than a minute before that thing goes off. Our lives are in your hands. Please, go for it, Eddie.
Indeed. We came to unravel a mystery. Next to the explosion, any clues you might have found just went up in smoke. There still might be something to help us amongst all this junk. What are we looking for? I don't know. Something, anything. Just keep looking, will you? Perhaps we should just go to the police. Hang on. W. W. Oscar Wilde? Oprah for Winfrey? Oliver Win Stanley? Who? Oh, he's a boy who used to live down my street. This is nuts. We're shooting in the dark. We need something more specific. Do you want specific? You've got it. Hmm? You're forgetting. Genius Jim here is not the only one with paranormal powers. Oh, Otto. 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 Whistle, Wheeler. Weevil! Otto Weevil! Otto Weevil, that's it, Otto Weevil! How did you know that? Don't panic, I'm not turning psychic. I just heard that name yesterday. Queely mentioned him when he was bawling me out. So who is this Weevil bloke then? Queely chucked him out of the department. Said he was involved in some off-the-wall experiments or something. Sounds like our man. We have to go to the university. If the Joker who tried to kill us is Otto Weevil, we have to find out what exactly he was working on. But... Didn't Queely say that if he found you on the premises, he'd have you thrown in the gutter? Correct. So, we just have to make sure he doesn't catch us, right? Right. As expected, everything in order, everything methodical. Well, Webster, Weevil, bingo. So what's the deal? I hate to say it, but Queely was right. This character, Weevil, was a madman. Look at this. His research, beyond the threshold of pain. He was doing all this stuff with animals to see how much he could make them suffer before they went crazy and killed themselves. Freak needs locking up. Well, look. Dear Queely, congenital idiots come in all shapes and sizes, but none as monumental as you, Queely. The greatest scientific breakthrough of the age offers itself up and you spit in its face. By cutting my funding, you are cutting my life blood. But beware, Queely. Genius will always triumph over putrid mediocrity. You were born a fool, you shall die one too. So what's all this got to do with that thing in Eddie's mouth? It must mean that Weevil's back in business with a vengeance. He was using Ed to test out some demented new form of torture he's dreamt up. But he could have been killed. Ed wasn't the intended victim, just a guinea pig. We must warn Queely. What better way for Weevil to get even with his rival than to nobble him up with one of those tooth bugs? Problem is, if Queely's not here, he could be anywhere. Think, Munro, think. A Queely's diary? Oh, yeah. Seminar, what time is it? Oh, 
2.35. Oh, boy, are we in trouble. Look. 2.30. Dental appointment? What happened to Miss Sullivan? I always see Miss Sullivan. A cavity convention in Canton. Oh. Well, fret not, Professor Creeley. You are in safe hands. <laughs> Relax. Pain is all in the mind, dear Professor. All in the mind. A twinge of discomfort for one man. A terrible torment for another. <laughs> I really <laughs> think that... Say, ah. Ah. Why so nervous, silly boy? Anybody would think I was going to hurt you. Hmm? Mm. Nothing like calling up an old friend. Hubert Queeley speaking. Hello, Professor Queeley. You once said I was crazy. You won't be doing that again in a hurry, will you? <laughs> 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 Fly at the flame! 
demon on bats! Monroe! You hit me! Why did you do... What's that? That... is a very long story. his weaver little plans. Ain't that the truth? I won't keep you, it's just, well, I, uh, I believe thanks are in order. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. Uh, and, um, all that silly business about turfing about the university. Forget it. Water under the old bridge work. <laughs> uh, you are welcome to resume your research immediately. Can't say fairer than that, eh? Well, that's very generous of you, Professor Queenie. Jolly good, that's the spirit. So I'll see you tomorrow then, eh? No, I'm afraid not. Well, next week then. No, not next week. What? I tried to tell you, Ed and Julia. They possess a wonderful gift, a psychic energy, a power that we've barely started to understand and develop. I can work with them, help them to focus that energy. We don't need you and your funding and your petty rules and regulations. We can go it alone. We can do it. Oh, right. Fine. Well, I'll just... Uh, fine. Good night, Julia. Night, Munro. Night, Munro. Night, shrimp. Good night, Ed. Good night, Julia. Good night, John boy. Hey. Who? Ah, so young, so young.